Hello lovely people, welcome to Queen Fatima Creativity. In this video, I want to share with you how to make a beaded handle. It was actually included in our previous tutorials, but not in details and something in me kept telling me that some of my subscribers do not understand that part. So to my new subscribers, I welcome you to this family and to my old ones, thank you so much for stopping by. Without taking much time, let's beat. So here we start by cutting a long fishy line and next we put four beads in our fishy line cross with the fourth bead. At this point make sure your fishy lines are equal at both ends just like this. Next, you put two beads on your left fishy line, one on the right, and cross with the second bead on the left. Repeat the same step by putting two beads on our left, one on the right, cross with that second bead on the left. In the upper view, we are repeating the same steps. this until we get to our desired length we count until we make up to like 26 so here we are on the 25th one about to make the 26th on this roll on our left hand because we want to walk towards that part towards our right part we put all three beads on the left fishy line to cross with the third bead by the time you cross with this we'll be walking towards our right hand side our fishy line will be on the right side just like this So next thing guys, we put all three beads again on our left fishy line to cross with the third bead. Just like this. So the next thing I'll pass my left fishy line into that next bead on the left. two beads on my right hand this time around on the right hand and cross with the second bead just like this so I'm going to pass my left fishy line into this bead that left next bead on the left Going to put two beads on the right again and cross with the second bead. on the right and cross with the second bead. Just like this. That's how we keep 
passing our lead fishing line into those beads until we get to this end. See you when I get there. So now we are on that end, that last bead there on our left. So we are going to pass our lead fishing line into that bead. So we will move to the other side. So I'm passing a lead fishing line into that bead as we have been doing. So this time around, I'm going to put all the two beads on the left fishing line. fishing line have come to the side again yes because we want to walk towards that side so next I put all three beads on the left fishing line and crossing with the third bead to turn proper to the other side like this so I'll be passing my right fishing line now to the next bead because we are walking towards down again we are forming another rule again Two on the left to cross with the second bead. So I'm going to pass my right fishing line into the next bead again on my right hand side, just like this. Putting two beads on the left to cross with the second bead. Here we are, I'm passing the right fishing line into that bead, put all two on the left and cross with the second bead, just like this. But because this is our last part of the bead, there is no need for us to cross with it. So I'm going to tie it, tie it properly, tie it up to three times, tie it properly. By the time you tie it, like I always say, it will look crossed. And pass your fishing line away from the tied area to secure that part. side is 26 while the shorter side is just three you can actually use this band hand this handle like this just like this without folding it but for the sake of this tutorial we are going to be folding it we are using the folding method okay so this is it so we we'll fold this it. we we'll fold it to become one so by the time we we'll fold it like this this matting we just made we we'll fold it one bead on the fishing line and my right fishing line and put it into that bead on my right hand side making sure again that your two fishing lines are equal you see that there's one bead in between and then I cross with just one bead just like this cross with it to be closed so the next now I'll pass my right fishing line into that next bead. Pass my left fishing line into the next 
bead on my left as well. So I'm just picking just one bead to cross with it. So at this point, I'll be cutting with one one bead. If you have watched up to this time and you have not subscribed to this channel, please encourage me by subscribing to this channel. Subscribe, like, and comment. So we are passing my right fishing line again into my next right bead and the left one to pick one bead and cross with it to close. We are closing. Remember, we are closing. We want to make everything one. We want to make this thing one piece. So I keep using one bead to cross, using one bead to cross, passing my right and fish with my right and left fishing line into the next bead and the crossing. That's how I will keep doing it until I will get to the end. Pass the fishing line to your left and right, cross with one, your left and right, cross with one until you get to this end. Now we are at the end. I'm going to pass my left fishing line into this bead and my right one into the next bead. To pick just one bead to cross. You see that? Because we are at the end of it, I'm not I'm just going to tie it. Tie it. Tie it very well. Then pass your fishing line away from that tight place to secure that part. So this is it. This is our beaded handle. You can, you can decide to fold it in a very circular form. All you need to do is to join the two both ends together. You can decide to leave it this way like what we did in our previous tutorial. And this is how to make our beaded handle. See you in my next video. Bye!